up, Jack? Hello, William. How's it going? It goes. It is also hanging well. <laughs> um, awful w w what happened to Ruth Bader Ginsburg, huh? Yes, you know, I had her on a fly back from Brazil. She was very tiny. Well, she could be her own carry-on and then fly for free. <laughs> That would have been in violation of international law. Okay. Hey, you know, Stefan, just so you know, I, I really do want to spend some time with you. Oh. You know, get, get to know each other. <laughs> oh. Hello, tricep. <laughs> okay, Hush Puffy, let's go to brunch. Something strange just happened. Will was very sweet to me. He touched my tricep. <laughs> I'm guessing the right one? That's the good one. Because it's the one I used to point to the exit. <laughs> Did you tell him to be nice to me? Because I specifically asked you not to do that. That would be humiliating. Uh, in my village, there is a clown who performs in this square. People pretend to like Bobo, but everybody laughs at him behind his back, which is the worst possible thing for a clown. <laughs> Don't make me the clown in the square. <laughs> oh, Stefan, I... I did nothing wrong. <laughs> well, then, there is only one possibility. We were alone together, so he could show his true feelings. I think Will has a crush on me. That's ridiculous. Will doesn't have a crush on you. You're not a woman with no boundaries. <laughs> well, it's either that or you lied to me. Oh, my God, Will has a crush on you. <laughs> okay, listen to me. Stefan's right behind me, so no time for questions. You have a crush on him, it explains why you've been such an ice queen. What? I, I have a crush on him? You'll admit it. I'll say get over it. You'll tearfully promise to change. Problem solved. So you actually want me to pretend to be into a Stefa? Yes. Well, then I will pretend to be into a Stefa. Don't know why you're saying it like that, but I appreciate it. Will, is there something perhaps we need to talk about? You know what there is? I'm embarrassed say this in front of Jack, but um, I have feelings for you. Oh, I always wonder why there was a painting of me on the wall. <laughs> yes, yes, and, and, I, and I, I know there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to learn to live in a constant state of tortured, unexpressed longing. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Let's go. <laughs> or is there a way to diffuse the tension? to quench the desire. Uh, there is not. Jack, this is your best friend. How do we deal with Will's unfulfilled desire? He'll do what he always does with his unfulfilled desire. Go to his room and Google pictures of Barack Obama windsurfing. That won't work this time. I think the only way to deal with these feelings is for me to share a passionate kiss with Estefan. For who to kiss Howard, is that what? Yes, this makes perfect sense. Sexual tension will always exist in the prelude to a kiss. Once you have the kiss, it is gone. Yes. It's like when you're a Panda Express and it all smells so good and you just want everything and then after one bite, you never ever want that taste in your mouth again. So in order for Will to release me, he must have me in his mouth once. It's beautifully said. No bueno, senoritas. I'm not gonna stand here and watch you two kiss. You're right, you're right. That would be super inappropriate. Exactly. Let's go to my bedroom where Jack can't see and has to fill in the details with his imagination. If that is the only way to save my marriage. Stop it! I lied, okay? I lied, I lied. <laughs> Will doesn't have feelings for you. I did ask him to be nice and the whole thing blew up. You lied to me, Jack? This is exactly what I asked you not to do. Okay, until further notice, there is going to be a velvet rope in front of my first class aria. 